Hi Adam, I want to thank you for sending in some samples for me to test on the uh, Cooker 1500 press. Uh, got your samples here. Uh, I don't have this die for you to test, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and test a couple of steel rule dies for you. This one is mainly for a picture die. Now this has the registration pins also. Uh, these are mainly for portraits. There's a, a large oval, two large ovals on this one. And the other die I'm going to use is a test die for 11 inch uh, donut shaped uh, gasket ring. So we're going to go ahead and uh, test this for you. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put two or four of these on here. Actually I'm only going to do four. Two of them at a time. Uh, we're going to lay these right on top here since uh, they're bigger than the registration pins themselves. And as you can see, it cuts everything out very, very cleanly. And this is the same principle that's going to be on your die, uh, only your die is going to be a lot bigger with the registration pins on the outside edges of the corners. So as long as your print is in the same location each time, your cutouts would be in the same location each time. Now, uh, I'll go ahead and try a, a larger die here. We'll take this, Just set it down on here. Nice clean cuts. Uh, and I'm sure you're going to be able to cut more than the two pieces that I demonstrated. Uh, you should be able to do five, six, maybe ten layers, depending on uh, how thick the, that you can get it. Uh, with the die blade being up uh, three eighths of an inch out of the board. I'll send you this video, Adam, and we'll discuss it. Thank you.